Good morning dear friends. What a wonderful day it is to live and glorify our God who loves us. And he knows where you are today. And I pray that today's meditation will set you on a new ground. Today's meditation is based on a passage from 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 to 6. I would like to read this passage so that you will know exactly what it is. Uh, 3 to 6 of 10th chapter of 2 Corinthians. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds we don't demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of god and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to christ and we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete There are many things I want to say from this but we our time is very very limited. And therefore I will only speak to you something that the Holy Spirit has prompted me to share with you. Followers of Jesus Christ who are his disciples are constantly in a warfare. Now warfare means weapons. and but christians battle uh, is not worldly christians battle is spiritual so paul says in the passage we do not wage war as the world does how does the world does war with weapons with tanks and guns and and missiles and bombs etc But that is not the way the spiritual war is fought by the followers of Jesus Christ. So the weapons we use are not worldly, but they are spiritual in nature. And these spiritual weapons have a divine power that I want you to take note of. Divine power. They can demolish strongholds. arguments every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of god we as disciples of jesus christ be aware of the fact that we are constantly in conflict with our spiritual enemy the devil our warfare is against the spiritual forces of evil Therefore worldly weapons such as uh, uh, human talents and wealth and organizational skills uh, uh, or uh, eloquence of words and propaganda charisma and personality are in themselves inadequate to pull down the strongholds of the devil god himself has to give us heaven made spiritual weapons read these spiritual weapons in ephesians chapter 11 verses uh, i'm sorry ephesians chapter 6 verses 11 to 19 Ephesians chapter 6 verses 11 to 19 read this passage there you have the list of the spiritual heaven made weapons made available to the followers of Jesus Christ by God himself we cannot neglect or ignore these weapons and expect to be victorious my friends take note of it very specially the list of 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 various tools 
in this weaponry include listen to this commitment to truth righteous living gospel proclamation faith love and a hope of a salvation the word of god and persevering prayer they are powerful weapons because they are spiritual and uh, uh, come from god himself prepare for us the word of god for example is called the sword of the spirit and my friends the devil has no answer to the sword of the spirit so in order to fight this battle spiritual battle and be victorious we need to be men and women of god's word thoroughly familiar with god's word hallelujah thank god for the word of god and that's the way the son of god jesus himself has overcome the devil you remember in the wilderness he did not uh, face the devil as as god he faced the devil purely as a man and uh, by using god's own word he defeated satan setting an example for us that we too can win the battle against the devil and demonic powers and evil forces by having a right relationship with god and through that relationship use the weapon that god himself has prepared and made available to us now by using these weapons against the enemy the church will emerge emerge victorious we will see god's presence and kingdom will be powerfully revealed in order to save sinners even today hallelujah god is at work through his disciples his church and how the miraculous work will be done casting out demons sanctify believers fill them with the holy spirit and uh, heal the sick the devil has no answer to these weapons that we read in the book of ephesians they are more powerful than the devil's weapon that he can use you can trust and so the apostle paul says put on this whole armor of god and when the believer go forth putting on these weapons the devil cannot overcome you because he sees the weapons and he is scared he is not scared of me or you and without these weapons the devil can easily destroy us but having this weapon on us we are more than conquerors and the church will see revival that will shake hell's foundation when we go forth having the full armor not a single item in this list we can ignore so the lord has made all the provisions for you and me my brothers and sisters to be victorious and to be happy in the lord and strong in the lord that's why apostle paul could say in all these things we are more than conquerors how could he say that because he is not depending on his philosophy his own ideas on his own strength or wisdom his these things uh, the devil is not aware of, uh, afraid of but the moment he sees a believer having these weapons that god has provided 
Hallelujah. The devil cannot approach you. You thus become more than a conqueror. Read from Ephesians chapter 6 verses 11 to 19. Think and may the Lord's blessing be upon you and give you the ability to be an overcomer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for those who have listened tonight, today. Lord, you are so wonderful that you not only saved us, changed us, and given us hope of eternal life, but you also have fully equipped us with the heavenly armor that we may overcome the devil who never stop fighting against God's people. But we thank you that you have given us something that is more powerful than any weapon that the devil may use. So Lord, may we gratefully enjoy putting on this armor, full armor of God, that we may be victorious. Thank you, Lord, for blessing your people. In Jesus' name, amen. This is a wonderful day, and it's going to be a great day. So by the grace of God, enjoy this day by His presence and love. Amen.